In 1961, I fell wildly in love with Marie D'Agostino. She was tall and graceful and had a smell that was as if she had just toweled off after a bath in rose water. Her skin was a shiny light olive, and while everybody else in her family had this Sicilian peasant thing working, Marie always seemed smoothly elegant and gracious. But the thing that caught me, hexed me, engulfed me, really, was her deep, round voice. It seemed to roll out of her small mouth and burst out of here. It still astonishes me to be in a booth recording my own work. As an active narrator, I performed over a hundred novels of other writers. But about 15 years ago, I talked a small book recording company into letting me read my own unpublished novel, The Memory of Running, and putting it in their catalog. Many years later, Stephen King listened to it and wrote an article about it in Entertainment so, Weekly. Um, I wrote a column to, uh, for, for my Entertainment Weekly um, thing, my, that, that particular gig, and said, this is a wonderful book and you can't buy it, but you can get it on tape or on disc. And this is the name of it. It's The Memory of Running, and it's uh, by this guy, Ron McClarty. And why don't you write in and get these tapes? You can rent them or you can buy the CDs. Whatever you want to do, go get it right now. Memory of Running was the third of 10 unpublished novels, and I had accepted that I'd probably never get published. I made my living as an actor, and I always had a lot of fun living that acting life. Can I, can I ask you a question? Sure. Are you, can you ride? But I was a writer who acted, not the other way around. Still, acting informed my work and allowed me to use many of the tools of that trade to put words on paper. That little storeroom in an actor's head where characters are stored and observations preserved proved invaluable. I vowed to keep writing, early mornings mostly, and to put the goal of publishing out of my head and to replace it with another goal to write for myself, to explain the world to myself, to write for the reward of writing. I suppose it made my, my writing harder for me because you can't fool yourself. I hope it made it better. But Memory of Running did get published and was a bestseller in 14 countries. Among other things, it was chosen as the Reading Across Rhode Island book of 2007. My next book is Traveler, and it's due out January 22nd, 2007. I'm very excited about Traveler, and wary too, because it's very close to home. It's about an actor living that silly acting life in New York, and also about himself as a youngster growing up in Rhode Island. I suppose a writer writes what he knows. Took my I truly side. hope you enjoy it. Marie in her sad, perfect black dress held my head and eased the impossible thing onto her shoulders. Big Tony ran up behind her and began cooing quietly. Oh, Bozo, it's all right, Bozo, it's all right. And for a while, it was. 